G'day viewers, Michael VK3 HAU here and today we're going to do a bit of a quick review on a uh, ICOM antenna. I uh, purchased this ICOM antenna so it's not a paid promotion and uh, we'll see what it's like. You'll get an honest opinion as I, um, I forked out my own money to pay for it. Uh, it is a HF uh, folded dipole center fed long wire uh, basically, um, HF antenna and uh, it, I'm going to uh, replace it with my, I don't know if you can see it here, there's a long wire here, center fed antenna. Let's just see if I can go up on here. Goes along here, goes to the center fed there, keeps going along, and goes over to this pole over here. Uh, I've got an ugly choke up there. Let me go back up. There's an ugly choke just underneath it. To try and uh, try and clean the emissions up a bit. Anyway, um, this home brew antenna that I put up, it uh, it's only good for 40 meters. Um, three point, uh, sorry, um, 7.1 megs, roughly, is where it's tuned for. And I'll show you that on the uh, on the um, antenna analyzer as well. The ICOM antenna is good for two meter, uh, two megs to um, 30 megs, so it should be pretty good. We'll get that on the analy analyzer as well, and we'll test it too. So here we've got the uh, the Rig Expert antenna analyzer, and we're going to check this homebrew center fed um, dipole long wire. Uh, now, I did tune it up for 40 meters. So we'll just punch in uh, 7 megahertz, put our frequency in here, uh, 7 megs, 7.1, okay, and we'll check our sweep, 500 kilohertz, um, we'll change that to 1 meg. Okay, and let's do a sweep across there. Long wire. Okay, so we're getting about 1.5 to 1 on the SWR, and that's about. Uh, we'll just increase our, uh, decrease our sweep. Go again. Yeah, it's about. Um, one uh, uh, 7.125 megahertz is roughly where our um, 1.5 to 1 is so that's on the home brew antenna and um, it's not very good on the other bands so I'll try um, uh, try uh, 80 meters uh, we'll go 3.6 and change our sweep to one meg, so it's 500 either side. Okay, and let's have a look at that. Yeah, see so it's shocking at the 80 meter band. And we'll try it at um, 20 meters. Um, go back to our uh, frequency. And we'll put in uh, 14.2 and we'll go sweep. Yeah, so 20 meters, she's no good. So you can't use it, can't use that uh, homebrew antenna on uh, anything but 40 meters, um, and it's very uh, narrow in that portion of the band. It's about 7.1 to 7.2 megahertz. And anything above or below that sort of gets out of the 1.1, a 1.5 to 1 ratio. Well, so here's the antenna in question. It's the AH710. And it's a folded dipole antenna by ICOM. I've already had the box open, haven't pulled anything out yet. It comes with a 30 metre length of cable. 
some coax. There's our coax there and some ropes to connect the ends up of the dipole. I'll put that over there. And here's the antenna in question. So it's like a ladder. Um, goes across, center fed, goes across, goes anchored over this point here, comes back, goes all the way across this way, comes back down and goes back to the center fed. So we'll pull that out and we'll throw it up in the air and we'll see what sort of performance we get. Looks, looks pretty well built, but yeah, we'll chuck it up in the air and we'll see what sort of performance we get. What is it with all the mosquitoes? I think we have mosquitoes in the middle of winter. No, we do. Anyway, we've got the long wire down. Here's one of the egg insulators. See one end. And all it is, it's just a bit of earth cable. Going along here. Going into a T-piece. Yeah. Coax goes in the air. Oh, sorry about that, I got a phone call. I really should put my phone in airplane mode when I'm doing filming. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, so the, co uh, the co coaxial cable comes out here, goes to this ugly choke, which is um, quite some turns. And it goes along and then goes into the larger 213 cable. Uh, which you can see is just there, the yeah, 213 cable there. Alright, well here it is, the AH710 from ICOM, laid out on the grass. Goes that away, up there, and goes that away, up there. So we've just got to mount it to the uh, pole here, I've removed the uh, home brew long wire, and um, run some tests. So the kit comes with 30 metres of coaxial cable, just wind it out, connect it up to one end of the antenna, screw it up, and then it comes with these, or this strip of amalgamating tape that you wrap around to make it waterproof. Um, I've got actual amalgamating tape uh, in the uh, toolbox, so I'll just use it instead. And um, we'll seal that up. All right, so we've got some amalgamating tape, or self-amalgamating tape, here from 3M. And then we've got a bit of Nitto tape we'll put over the top, just to, well, it's Nitto style. It's not actually a Nitto brand. Put over the top just to stop the self-amalgamating tape from unwinding, you know, because when you tighten it, or when you're wrapping this amalgamating tape around, sometimes it can start to unravel. So just put a bit of normal electrical tape over the top just to help it. And then we've put this normal nitto or normal electrical tape over the top. The next part is to mount this to our pole. The instructions actually say that you can have the, the centre part freestanding, it doesn't need to be mounted. Um, but we're going to mount it anyway. Right, we've got it up in the air. In the air now, so we'll check the uh, SWR on the different bands and see how it performs. So, First of all, I think the last band we're on, yeah, the last band we're on is 20 metres. So we'll just check that. Let's go with um, a different range. Let's make it uh, a 2 megahertz uh, range, which will give us a 1 megahertz either side of that band. And we'll go 4, go.
Yeah, well, it's looking pretty good. Uh, 1.5 to 1 start there. And uh, sort of stays below 1.5 in the sweet spot. All right. Well, that, that's good. I'm happy with that. Let's try 80 metres. Uh, sorry, um, we'll go 40 metres. Now, because the gimbals decide to pack it in. All right, so 7.1. Go OK, and we'll scan that across the band, and that's below 1.5 to 1 on the 40 meter band. All right, let's try 80 meters. OK, 80 meters, and scan that. Go. looking pretty good. Um, and as you said, 6 j 6 c Getting a bit scarce, and of course, as... Oh. Oh, God, he hasn't cleared much. He hasn't. Um, Dave has cleared HJQ. Uh, Scott's there and Zach there, mate. Sounds like he was timing in all directions today, there, Scott. The plenty of things to do, but didn't get that. Alright guys, well that's the AH710 antenna from ICOM. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will do a bit more testing on the different bands with it uh, over the next couple of weeks and we'll report back on what sort of uh, signals we can get from it and pull out of the air with, compared to the homebrew. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot better than my homebrew uh, antenna because the homebrew antenna can only do uh, 40 metres and I do a bit of slow scan TV on, uh, well, try to do slow scan TV on uh, 40, 80 and 20 metres, um, but I've been restricted to 40 metres with that home brew. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, this antenna's like. By all means, it looks like it's well constructed and uh, the SWR across the bands look really good as well. Uh, and the good thing about that antenna also is that it's so compact that you can just chuck it in a backpack. If you want to go up bush with it, you can take it up bush, get a couple of trees that are more than 25 metres apart from each other, throw the rope over, haul it up in the air, and you're portable. So um, that's, uh, that's another uh, bonus for it. So check it out. It's the AH710 ICOM antenna. Uh, retails for around $550. I didn't pay that for it. I, I got it at a, a discounted price and I'm not going to say what I got it for but um, I did pay for it so it's not a paid promotion this is a, um, a legitimate uh, um, legitimate review uh, I've actually had to buy it myself but uh, by all means it seems like a well constructed antenna from ICOM check it out AH710 if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one cheerio